Hello, 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 hello. It's Fiona Robertson here, the Body Renewer and the Body Whisperer. And today I'm on Agony Aunt Tuesday and I'm going to be answering a letter and some questions from Jesse, which is a letter that I said that I would be answering today. So um, what a beautiful day to get behind what your weight is actually telling you and helping you to understand what's going on behind the scenes. So here we are, this is what we do, and this is my sole purpose to help you lose weight. And I don't just mean physical weight, I mean the weight of the emotions that you're carrying around. I mean the weight of the mental torture that you're carrying around and all the judgments and criticisms of yourself that you're carrying around that are causing your body stress, which is making your body protect yourself and lay down fat. So I'm here to help you understand all of that and see what particular stories you have going on and how that's affecting how your body is representing that to you. So um, let's go into the letter that Jesse sent me and let's uh, try and understand a little bit deeper as to what's really going on for Jesse. So thank you very much, Jesse, for writing to me. And uh, again, <laughs> Jack and Ori tell a story. This is what we're going to be going through today. So... Um, this week's uh, story, which is what I said in the event, is about Jessie and it's an agony aunt story and um, she wrote to me and shared her story and she wanted me to help her decipher what was actually going on for her, why she uh, was gaining weight, holding on to weight, which is basically for all the women who are actually in my group, women, women with weight, <clears throat> this is what we're talking about. We're talking about what's going on behind the scenes. Can that be deciphered? Can I understand it? on a metaphysical level, that there's way more going on behind the scenes than just overeating or binging, or even if you're starving yourself while your body is still not showing you the results that you want with all the effort that you're putting in. I know, I know, I know, I know. All right, so I asked Jessie as well. <clears throat> so she sent me a letter and I, I asked her to answer these particular questions as well. I asked Jessie to answer the following questions to herself. What do you really and deeply want instead? And why? So she originally wrote to me, she told me her story, and then I re replied to her and asked her if I could share her story, but I really wanted to know what she wanted instead. So this is Jessie's letter. Hello, my name is Jessie. I'm 40 years, years, <laughs> 48 years old, and I'm feeling trapped and caught in a place as a busy single mother and a business owner and desperate desperate to lose weight. I rush everywhere and now I get so out of breath keeping up with chores, work, kids and I'm seriously worried that if I don't lose weight soon I'll just keel over. Um, I saw my mum gain weight and live a very sort of mediocre average life because of it and I don't want the same, I don't want to be in the same shape as my mum. Um, my dad left her when I was 19 and sometimes I think I resemble her and her life and it scares the pants off me. I'm a single mum now and I asked my partner to leave as he was freeloading and even after counselling nothing changed. Um, I will not be a doormat so I asked him to leave. Um, he does not support his kids or his children and he's moved away and um, I know I hold a lot of resentment there. But that's another story. I have been single for a few years and enjoy my life, but it's really feeling empty. I had a boyfriend and that was empty too. And I stopped it as I was just repeating an old pattern again. I was saving and I was supporting him too. I want more than anything to feel loved. And that means to have a soulful connection with a man who sees me. So that I feel safe and able to have intimacy, be open and vulnerable which is weird as I come across as strong, capable and a rather cold and cool person. Um, but I know that this is my protection. But what I want more than anything else is to be a female, a woman who enjoys sex. And I can't do that until I feel comfortable in my body. Wow, that's a great story. And that's a great thing that this lady is beginning to see. All right, so she says she ends and she says, so there, I've said it. Now what? I've got absolutely no idea what to do next. Jesse, help is on the way. <laughs> this is where we come. So um, firstly, 
I want to be able to say to Jesse, thank you so much. Congratulations for being, a for being able to see that there's more going on here than just the weight. There's more going on here behind the scenes than you've probably ever imagined before. Um, and the fact that you're owning up and you're writing and you're and you're seeing what, what's going on behind, but more so that you know what you desire to be. And that's probably come from the question that I asked you as well, that you, you know actually on a completely different level that you want to be a different kind of woman to your mother. You want to be a different kind of woman altogether and that you're desiring the sensual, being a female, feeling loved, feeling whole, feeling those warm feelings, the connection, the intimacy, that feeling really safe in your body allows you to have. So um, a relationship where you actually feel seen and feel heard and you're calling for this kind of relationship and this is you have to be happy in a way that you've gained the weight. Now, this seems a really bizarre thing to say, but to feel happy that you've actually gained the weight because it's enabled you to ask more questions. It's enabled you to be here today to get these questions answered, that you're actually understanding that there's way more going on. I know I keep saying that, but it's just what I'm always talking about. There's way more going on behind the scenes and that the weight has allowed you to ask the right questions and it's showing you that there's more to life. It's showing you that there is way more to life that you can actually get out of it than having a mediocre life. And whether you're protecting yourself with your weight and all the other stories that are going on because you're not taking care of yourself, it's just, it's fantastic that you've been able to see that. All right, so let's start answering then. Ugh. Those hidden, unspoken longings for the open, expansive, real, intimate relationship, be that with ourself first and with another, is what we're feeling alive for. It's what we're here for. It's what we really want. And there's like dozens and dozens and dozens of other women out there who are feeling exactly the same thing, who are hiding behind the fact that um, maybe they're in a relationship, but you know, inside them, they're like, God, there's got to be more to life than this. It's just not fulfilling me. And they're missing, they're missing nutrients, I call it. And this is so, 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 so important to understand that you are in charge of what you're able to do with your body and how you feel. So the longing to feel alive and be able to open, express yourself and have an intimate relationship. What a fantastic goal that is. Far better than just saying, I want to lose 20 pounds. I want to lose 20 kilos. That's, it's empty. It's empty. And you already said you had another boyfriend and, you know, some things may have been better. But ultimately you knew inside you that it just wasn't, it wasn't enough for you. There was more for you. All right, so those hidden longings <laughs> have brought you to where you are. And that your weight really um, has shown you a way forward. So now you're ready. It's so fantastically exciting for me. Now that you're ready to see that and feel that and take that a step further and really be able to thank your weight for bringing you to this point where you can be excited that you can now believe that you can be different, that you can let all the past go. And this is what we work on. We work on the fact that to be able to release the emotions. All right. So first, second, third. All right. So great. You've described the relationship that you want to have and that you want to have with another, but that's the relationship that you want to have with your body as well, with yourself. You want to be able to feel open, free, understand yourself, feel intimate with yourself, be honest with yourself. So first, I'm going to ask you this. Could you be scared of being so open and vulnerable and expressive? Frightened of confrontation from admirers once you're slim. Now, often what happens is even though we say we really want to lose weight, even though we say we want to look a certain way, we've even got images of it on a, on a vision board or something like that. The thought and the feeling of actually being that woman at that weight can be so terrifying because we'll have 
confrontation to deal with, we'll feel vulnerable, we won't feel safe, we'll feel insecure, um, all those kind of things. And having unwanted um, attention, then that's enough for us to stop going down that route, to stop going on with the diet. Often, as soon as a woman starts to lose weight, she starts to feel better in her own skin, she'll stop because she's beginning to feel better and she's getting more attention. She doesn't like the feeling because she hasn't understood how to feel strong and safe in herself first. That's very, very important. All right, secondly, you could feel really shy and unconfident in, in your body physically. And um, what that means is when you're in a relationship, even though you say that's really, really what you want, the fact that you're exposing yourself and you're feeling more vulnerable can make you feel very shy and unconfident in your body. That is enough to make you stop as well. Um, because feelings of dissatisfaction, disapproval, confrontation, again, feelings of rejection may come up for you. Now, that's massive in the fact that if you can really begin to work on those things before you get into that position and feel more and more comfortable and confident in your own skin, then you're feeling much more secure. And it's not just about the weight because some people can be extremely gorgeous and still feel really not confident to shed their clothes or unravel themselves or be exposed. So it's more, there's more going on here behind the scenes. So those are the feelings and the emotions that need to be worked on, understood, felt, given a different perspective to those emotions so that you can actually feel great in your own body and you can let all that past crap go. Thirdly, and I know this for sure, your mind is going to play tricks on you. Your mindset is going to come up and you're going to hear things from yourself, judgments, criticisms, a voice in your head, be it yours, be it a parent, be it a friend. Um, you don't deserve this. You don't deserve to look good. Look at you. Who the hell do you think you are, for God's sake? You know, you're going to hear these kind of things. And stay the way you are. It's safer. Don't change a thing. Stay there. I can protect you. Um, it's safer than getting any rejection, ridicule or any potential hurt from real love. This is much safer to stay here than be disappointed again. And lonely again so just make do how does that feel when I bring up those kind of sentences and those kind of things that I'm saying because if there's resistance there and just I want you to understand how your body feels when I say those kind of things maybe it relaxes and yeah you go back to eating and you go back to kind of doing not moving and um, kind of okay but not really satisfied so, Jesse, are you ready to answer these kind of questions? Are you really ready to do the work? Are you ready to have that most fulfilling relationship, first with yourself and then with another, that just lights up your whole world, that allows you to feel open and vulnerable and enjoying life and feel really radiant and alive every single day? Can you embody that woman? Are you ready to embody that woman so that whichever room, room doing a lisp there. So whatever room you walk into, whatever situation you find yourself in, you're able to hold your own. You're able to find your own energy. You're able to find out who you are in that particular situation and handle it and grow up like an adult and be able to be the woman that you deserve to be, that you intend, intended, you always intended to be the woman that feels strong and powerful and still able to be extremely feminine. How does that sound, Jessie? Um, you saved, you served as a great purpose here today, Jessie. Thank you so much for writing in your letter. Um, and let me know what you've taken away from this, please. And anyone else who's listening and, and contacting me, let me know what you've taken away from this. Because you need to be able to understand the rejection, the disappointment and where it feels in the body and be able to let that go, to move forward, to be this amazing woman that you can embody. Um, 
I myself have had very similar stories to these. And I know that countless women that I speak to have very similar stories. It's never about the weight alone. It's never about just losing weight. I really want you to understand that there's more going on here. So women are crying on the phone and they feel really, really disappointed with their bodies. I want you to understand there's way more waiting for you. And the reason it feels so painful is because you've not got rid of the old stories. You've not gone under the bridge and I can pull you through to the other side and let you stand in the sunshine and get that kind of beautiful, soulful relationship that you've been looking for with yourself and with another, a lifetime relationship, a lifetime of relationships and love. So there are dozens of other women who've actually found this particular path to, to a better body. And they're really benefiting from um, realizing and amazing, feeling amazing within themselves. And yes, their relationships are way better. Even if the relationship they had, they kept hold of, it's way better. They find out how to communicate. They're finding out how to express themselves. And they're certainly finding out where their boundaries are and what they do and what they don't want. Um, so what are you going to do next? Are you going to carry on living the mother life and living your busy, busy women life? And what happens if you're in the same position in a year's time? What happens then? The woman you intended to be is waiting for you and she's pushing you and she's kicking you and she's going to keep on gaining you weight and she's going to keep on making you feel uncomfortable until you step up and you become her. She's a beautiful, beautiful, radiant being. And it's a completely different life. And of course, with that comes different, different energies and comes different people and comes different situations. But it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, join me if you're ready to do a breakthrough call and I'll scan your body. I can scan your body when we're on a call with 20 minutes complimentary. I'm going to be able to read your body and find out what the number one trigger is for you that's stopping your body from losing weight and what's gaining the weight. Why are you holding on to the weight? What is going on behind the scenes? A body scan is what I do. It's 20 minutes. I'm going to put the link under this um, um, live stream that I'm doing here, this agony art. The reason I do these agony arts is because I really want you to understand that you're not alone. There's hundreds of women out there who are in the same boat, who are living a mediocre life, who could be living a fabulous life. They could up sticks and go and live wherever they want. They can have the most delicious, delicious relationships they want. And they need to find out about themselves, who they are and what they want and discover what their weight is asking them for. It's way bigger than just putting on a few pounds and not being able to do up the zip in your jeans. I've loved, loved, loved being here for you. I am Fiona Robertson. I am the Body Whisperer. This is what it's all about. Let's go out there and just be the women that we intended to be all along. Okay, see you next week. Bye-bye.